Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay everybody, welcome, welcome. Uh, we finally have a beautiful day up here in Vancouver, Canada. Just take a look. Yeah, we've got a few clouds, but look at that sunshine. Okay, we'll ignore that black cloud, but just look over there. Beautiful sunshine. All right, so it's a sunny day, so it's a perfect day to work on my 2014 Jeep Wrangler right here. Today I'm gonna to change the air cleaner. That's a simple job, don't really need to make a video about that, but I'm also gonna clean the MAF. Hey, Billy. You wanna check out the uh, Crown Victoria trunk? Go ahead. I won't close it on you, don't worry. All right, what is a MAF? MAF is the mass airflow sensor. It is a sensor that is located between your air filter and your throttle body. And it can get dirty over time and that affects performance. So every once in a while, you should clean it. It's not a hard job, anybody can do it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on a Jeep Wrangler today. These are all the tools you need to do the job. A simple slotted screwdriver, a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket on it. And of course, this is the only thing that's kind of special that you should have. It's sensor clean. This is a sensor safe sensor cleaner. Now, other people use brake cleaner and other cleaners. I would not recommend that. The, um, the MAF, Mass Air Force Flow Sensor is very sensitive. I would not take a chance with that. Go and get the right stuff. It's not expensive. Get this, it'll last you for years probably. Uh, so get a sensor clean that's specifically made for cleaning the mass airflow sensor. Okay, so with that out of the way, that's all you need. Oh, and of course, you also will need a new air cleaner as well. Okay, this is the glorious engine bay of my Jeep Wrangler with the venerable 3.6 V6 motor. Uh, fantastic, a uh, beautiful incredible first thing you want to do remove the engine cover just because it's so easy to do just lift up and throw then of course you can see your engine everything a little bit better you don't have to take that off but i just like to take it off because it's easy to do next step is you gotta undo these clips you got one two down here Three, four. Okay, you see it's a little bit loose now, but you gotta do more than that. Okay, you gotta take off this hose. Now, it's not held on with anything except for some force, so you just work it loose like this, and off you go. Now, you can lift this up, but it's very hard to reach in there. It only goes up so far, so you gotta loosen off the snorkel part here with these two 10 millimeter bolts. There we go, that's loose. There we go, that's loose. There's one, and you put it in this handy dandy little uh, tray here that's built for it. Put this one down in the same area. That will keep everything safe while you're working on your Jeep. Okay, and also loosen up this hose. Just push it out of here. That's easy. Now, let's loosen this guy off so that we can take the whole snorkel air cleaner upper assembly away from the throttle body. This is your electronic throttle body, your drive-by-wire throttle body. <clears throat> Use your slotted screw, loosen this off. Don't have to take it all the way off, you just loosen it. And then the snorkel will come off pretty easy, like that. And this will come off. But, hold on, there's a wire that's attached right, oops, right right there you gotta unclip this you press it in pull it off this is the wire connection to your MAF your mass airflow sensor is right here underneath the snorkel so let's just take that off 
Just reach on here, press the tab, press the tab, and it comes off like that. Then you can lift the entire snorkel assembly out of the way. Okay, now we can have access to our old air filter. It just pops right out. That looks pretty clean, but look at that. That's pretty dirty. That's pretty dirty. Let's see, you can see it in the shade here. That's pretty dirty. For comparison, here's the new air cleaner. Exactly factory stock air cleaner, and you can see the difference. Dirty, clean. Dirty, clean. This is why you have to change the air filter. Especially for a Jeep where you're off-road in the dust and everything else, change this on a regular basis. I'm not sure how often you should do it, but often. Here's our throttle body. There's our throttle blade. It's turned by a little electric motor in here according to how far you get press your gas pedal. That will open up your throttle blade, let more air in, you get more zoom. However, it's important, although it's very tempting, do not touch and push the throttle blade. I tell you, you really want to, because you know, everybody's curious, like what does it look like inside there? So almost everybody I know will actually stick their finger in and push the throttle blade to open it and have a look inside. Okay, so what happens if you do that? Well, on an old car, nothing, but on a new car with the electronic throttle blade, that will cause a bit of a calibration issue, perhaps. Now, I'm just warning you, I'm not saying for sure this will happen, but I'm just warning you that if you do that, the car might start a little roughly and idle a little bit strangely until it gets back to normal. Um, exactly why that happens, I don't know, but it can sort of throw this little motor off because you're moving it without the motor move, moving, and so it throws off the calibration. Anyway, it's just a warning for you that that might, might happen. So, I would resist the urge of touching that. Although, I know you want to. Hi, Billy, are you here to help? Or just to tell me what to do? Okay, maybe you can learn something about how to work on these cars. Can you teach a cat anything? I don't think so. Okay, here's our upper air cleaner assembly. You got all these strange pieces of plastic. That is like silencers to change the sound of the motor. I don't really know what they do. They look ridiculous, but I'm not gonna change that right now. And, well, look at there. Don't know, can you see? Let's see. There you go. See that little yellow thing? That is your mass airflow sensor, that little guy in there. Looks pretty clean, so maybe he doesn't really need cleaning, but let's find out. Okay, so these guys will come out with a twist to the left. It has a little arrow that goes this way. That's to tighten it. To untighten it, you go this way, counterclockwise, but you first got to pull down this tab a little bit till it gets past there, and then you can... There you go. That's oh, hard to remember. Anyway, it'll counter counterclockwise twist this far, and then you got to sort of work it out. Take your time. Take your time. You don't want to the the mass airflow sensor in there is delicate. You do not want to touch it. You don't want to be rough on it. You don't want it to rub against anything as you bring it out. You got to take your time. You don't want to mess this up because then you're gonna be looking for a new mass airflow sensor and your vehicle will not work without this. Okay, I took my time, I got it out. There's the side we were looking at and look around and this is the side that faces the air and you can see it's completely covered in oily, dirty, whatever. It is, it should be bright yellow and it's not. This is why you need to clean it. Okay, so you're saying to yourself, okay, it's dirty, who cares? A lot of things I have is dirty. That's true, a lot of things are dirty around here. But you don't want your mass airflow sensor to get dirty because it is reading the flow of air because it's a heated piece of wire and uh, the amount of air going by cools it off and the difference between the heating and the cooling is what the computer measures and from that it can figure out how much air is actually going into the engine. If you have a coat of grease and dirt that affects the heating and cooling of that sensor, which means that it won't be quite accurate. 
it won't be as accurate as it would be if it's completely clean. That could lead to poor gas mileage, uh, poor performance, uh, throttle response could be off. So that's why you should clean it uh, every once in a while. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So very simply, we're going to spray it with the sensor clean. We are not going to touch this. It will not be necessary to touch it. The force and chemicals in this will actually get that carbon off. Um, it's a very delicate sensor, as I told you. Do not touch it, do not scrub it. Um, the best thing is just use the sensor clean. Do not touch it with any corrosive or do not touch it with any abrasive uh, cloth, anything. Don't touch it even with your fingers. Just use the sensor clean. It'll do the job, as you will see. Okay, and here's the results. Both sides are nice and clean, nice and yellow. You can't tell what the difference is from front to back now. So now we just let it air dry, which it will do very quickly. And then we put everything back together. So you guys saw how dirty that mass airflow sensor was. And this Jeep doesn't even have that much miles on it. One of the reasons why it was so dirty is because of this little hose right here. This hose is coming from the PCV valve, uh, crankcase, crankcase ventilation valve. This valve, which is somewhere back there, uh, takes vapors that, of air that are inside the engine and feeds it back into the throttle body. They don't want to emit that type of air back to the atmosphere because it causes pollution, so they put it right back through the motor so it gets used in the combustion process. However, that air has micro particles of oil in it, like oil vapor, because it's from the inside of the engine which of course is full of oil and has oil vapor. So that oil vapor will collect on your mass airflow sensor. It will also collect in your throttle body and reduce your performance and cause the mass airflow sensor to get dirty quicker. That's another good reason to have a catch can, an oil catch can, which is a device that goes between the hose and your uh, air cleaner. And it catches those oil vapors, the oil, but allows the air to go through. And I have that on my other cars and I'm gonna have that on the Jeep as well. I'm gonna install, I'm gonna purchase and install that in a future video, but for now I don't have it yet. So we just have to keep cleaning the mass airflow sensor. Okay, she's all dry. It's time to put her back in and everything will be a reverse of our removal procedure. So we're gonna put her in and twist to the right. Then to lock it in, I turn clockwise till it just goes over that little tab, little tab right there. Okay, it's locked in now. There we go, locked in. Now we just put our new air cleaner in place and that part of the job will be done. Okay, now we gotta put the snorkel back on, but before we do that, we gotta attach the electrical connector for the MAF sensor just goes in, only go in one way, push it up until it clicks. Like that. Clicked and it's in. Then we put the snorkel over the throttle body, like so. That's in. Okay, so there's the snorkel upper air cleaner assembly all in place. So now just have to tighten up this guy. Put these two 10 millimeter screws in and then put some tabs on we're almost done so let's do that oh and don't forget to put this hose back on this is very important i almost did forget but billy the cat reminded me at the last moment okay so there we go that's on and let's put the last clip on right here last clip on right here Okay, all the clips are on. So, new air cleaner, clean, mass airflow sensor, job's done. All right, you can see how easy that job was, but it's an important job. So next time you do your air filter, clean the mass airflow sensor as well. 
you'll be glad you did. Anyway, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time. Oh, and if you found this video useful, entertaining, or just silly, please like and subscribe for more.